Monsieur Noye, do you have a feeling, a sentiment of how many numbers you're expecting and in what particular areas in particular where the low-hanging fruit is for Paris to really dine out and get a real area of expertise going? Well, I think, uh, of course, not everything will come to Paris. Uh, first, never, we should never forget that many things will uh, remain, will stay in London, and London will remain a very important financial centre. But there needs to be complements on the continent and, and significant things on the continent in the years to come if the Brexit is, is to really happen. Uh, second, uh, uh, what, what seems to be the general move is that um, different activities may look at in different places but the 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 the, the market uh, activities seem to uh, uh, to move for a certain concentration in in Paris and so th that's true for uh, investment banks asset managers uh, some infrastructures uh, and uh, uh, the the reason for that I think is that um, <clears throat> Paris is the only big city uh, we're talking about, uh, comparable to London or New York. Paris has the whole range of the ecosystem, not only uh, the addition of banks, insurance, asset management, uh, which are relatively active already. Uh, there is market liquidity today, much smaller than in London, but still uh, with the big French banks and HSBC that always kept its uh, euro uh, operations in Paris. There is a, a liquidity at the start. Uh, you have also in the ecosystem uh, a very strong presence of law offices. For instance, we have mm. 50 Anglo-Saxon law offices in Paris, more than 3,000 lawyers uh, coming from England or, or, or the United States. Yeah. Uh, so all that, and accountants, etc. So all that means that you have uh, a very strong basis for market activities.